Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own waffle cone charms using polymer clay. I really love the designs of these charms and once you know how to make them, they're really simple and fun, especially because you can change up the colours and the toppings to suit your own style. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm beginning by making the cones for my ice cream. So the colour I'm using is called Vanilla by Fimo. I'm just taking my clay rolling pin and I'm rolling this clay down onto my work surface to make a flat sheet. Next, I'm going to be adding the texture to the waffle cones and I like to use this square kind of texture on this plastic plate. I'm also going ahead and taking some corn flour, which I just keep in this little cup and this will prevent the clay from sticking to the plastic plate. So here I'm just rubbing the corn flour all over the sheet of clay and then I'm flipping the clay over so that the side with the corn flour is placed onto the plate. Then you can take your rolling pin and roll this down to get the texture onto the clay and it is okay if your clay sticks to your rolling pin like mine did here because it still works out. I'm then taking this large round cookie cutter and pressing it into the clay then pulling away the excess. Next it's time to add some shading to our vanilla coloured clay to make it look a little bit more cooked and like a real waffle cone. So I'm using a fluffy paintbrush and my mixture of brown chalk pastels which I have shaved into this little cup and I'm just lightly dusting this over top of the clay. Then using my long blade I'm cutting the circle into quarters. Now we want to shape our clay actually into the waffle cone shape. So to help me do this, I'm taking my piping tip and I'm wrapping one quarter of the circle around the very end, just pinching the sides together to help secure them. So that's what my waffle cone currently looks like. You can then remove it from your piping tip if that's what you use to help you and then also go ahead and create all the others as well. If you do find that your cones lose some of their color from you touching the clay and trying to blend it, you can of course just brush on some more of your chalk pastel shavings. So once I created my waffle cones, I'm then going ahead and baking these in my oven just for five minutes to harden them a little and this will make the clay a lot easier to work with when I'm adding the soft serve ice cream on top. So here are what my waffle cones look like and you can see here that I made a few other batches as well and once they have been baked and cooled, it's then time to create the ice cream. So to make the ice cream for my waffle cones, I'm going to be using my star piping tip which is a Wilton number 16. If you don't have a piping tip that you can use with clay, I do have a tutorial on other ways that you can create frosting using polymer clay, so I'll leave that link down below in the description box if you would like to check it out. So first up, I'm going to be showing you how to make this lemon waffle cone. I'm beginning with some vanilla coloured clay, the same colour that I actually used to make the waffle cone, and I'm just rolling this into a large kind of teardrop shape on my work surface. I'm then also just rubbing some corn flour on the surface of the clay so that when I pop it into my piping tip, it doesn't stick to the sides. So here I'm simply dropping it into my piping tip and then I'm using a large ball tool to push the clay through the end until I've pretty much pushed out enough to create my swirl of ice cream. I then used my blade to trim it off on an angle and then here I'm taking some Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay and I'm just pouring some of this inside of my waffle cone. Then I'm actually taking a piece of scrap clay which I'm going to be placing inside the waffle cone and this will just help to give me something to wrap the ice cream around so that it's not hollow inside. I'm then taking my piece of clay and I'm twisting it gently to create more of a swirled look and then it's time to add it to the waffle cone. When I make my waffle cones, I like to put the end at the back of the charm where the join of the cone is, that way you won't see it from the front and then I begin wrapping it around until I get all the way to the top. When I get to the very end of the clay, I like to pinch the end to make it look like it has just come out of a soft serve machine. And then that's pretty much how you make the ice cream part. 
Then to decorate this one, I'm going to be using some lemon cane slices. You can get cane slices online pre-cut because they're generally used for nail art, or you can buy them made just in the cane and then cut them yourself. Or optionally, you can also make them yourself out of clay, uh, but I'm not doing that because I'm not the best at making cane slices. I'm applying a small amount of liquid clay, which will help attach the cane slices to the unbaked clay. And then I'm just pushing them in using a pair of pliers. Lastly, you can go ahead and add an eye pin on the top if you would like to make it into a charm. And then it's time to bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. So the next design I'm showing you how to make is this blueberry waffle cone. I'm starting off with this pastel blue clay and I'm rolling it into a teardrop kind of cone shape on my work surface. I made sure to rub the outside of the clay with my corn flour and then I placed the clay inside my piping tip and began pushing it through using my large ball tool. Next I'm using my Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay and I'm pouring some of this inside of my pre-baked waffle cone. Then I'm just adding in some scrap clay so that I have something to wrap the ice cream around. I attach the end of the blue ice cream onto the back of the charm and then I'm just wrapping this all the way around until I get to the very top. To make the blueberry syrup for this charm, I'm pouring out my Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay onto a sheet of baking paper, and then I'm scraping in some dark blue chalk pastel shavings. I just used my needle tool to mix it all together, and then I dripped this down the sides of my ice cream. If you don't actually have any Sculpey Bacon Bond, you can also use a Sculpey TLS, which is translucent liquid Sculpey, or you can also use Fimo Deco Gel as well. I usually prefer to use the Sculpey Bacon Bond just because it is thicker and I can kind of control where it goes on the charm a bit more rather than it being a super runny. Next, I'm going ahead and creating the little blueberries. I began rolling a snake of dark blue clay onto my work surface and then trimming off little pieces. I then rolled each of these little pieces in to a ball and then you can position these blueberries in the syrup. Finally, if you'd like to make it into a charm, you can go ahead and add an eye pin and then bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. Next up, I'm showing you how to make this simple vanilla flavor design with some rainbow sprinkles. I guess this could also be called a Funfetti ice cream as well. So for the ice cream, I'm just using a regular white clay and here I'm just rolling it into my cone shape and then rubbing it with some of the corn flour. I popped it into my piping tip and then I pushed it through the end using my large ball tool. Next, I'm taking my Bacon Bond liquid clay and I'm pouring some of this inside the waffle cone to help attach my piece of scrap clay. I then attached on the end of the ice cream at the back of the charm and wrapped this all the way around the piece of scrap clay, kind of twirling it as I went. When I got to the very top, I pinched the end of the clay to create a little point. Now I'm adding on some blobs of liquid clay and this will help me to attach on the rainbow sprinkles so that they're nice and secure. For my sprinkles, I'm going to be using these little rainbow pieces, which are just some pre-cut pieces of polymer clay, which have been baked. But you can of course also just roll some pieces of raw polymer clay and stick them straight on. Then I very strategically placed around all the different colors of sprinkles until I was happy with it. Finally, you can go ahead and add an eye pin if you want to make it into a charm and then bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. The final ice cream I'm going to be showing you how to make in this video today is a watermelon inspired waffle cone. So first up, I'm taking some white and pink polymer clay and I'm just rolling these on my work surface. Then I'm actually going to swirl and kind of marble the colors together. So here I'm just really roughly twisting them and then like the other ice creams, I'm also adding on some corn flour and this helps prevent the clay from getting stuck to the sides of the metal piping tip. 
I then pop the clay into the piping tip and push this through using my large ball tool. I cut off the end using my blade and then I also did the same thing with just a regular piece of pastel green clay, which I'm also going to be adding onto the design. I squeezed in some of my Sculpey Bacon Bond into the waffle cone and then I attached in a piece of scrap clay. Next it was time to begin adding the ice cream to the charm. So here I'm starting off with the green ice cream around the base of the cone and then I trimmed off the excess clay so that it was only one layer of green. Next I'm taking my pink and white mixture and then I'm wrapping this around the rest of the ice cream. I did want to decorate it a little more, so here I have some black micro marbles, and I'm just sticking these all over the flesh colored part of the watermelon ice cream so that it looks like there are little black seeds. Finally, you can go ahead and add an eye pin if you'd like to make it into a charm, and then you can bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. Lastly, to finish off all my ice creams, I'm taking some super glue and I'm pulling out the eye pins and securing them back in with the super glue. Optionally, you can also glaze your charms if you would like to. I'm just adding some glaze to mine, but only on the blueberry sauce part so that it looks shiny and the rest of the charms look more realistic and just matte. So here are what the four finished ice cream designs look like. I really love the style of these charms and how they turned out. And I always find it a lot of fun creating the different ice cream flavors with different toppings as well. So if you enjoyed this Paula McClay tutorial, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys!